I am doing a follow-up to the vanity table press-on nail video. Today I'm gonna do gel nails. I'm getting ready for a friend's bachelorette party and don't have time to get my nails done. Consider doing just like polish, but decided it'd be more fun to get like a little bit more bling nails and like going out nails and I really wanna try these gel nails. First, I have my cup of coffee in my Ember mug. These mugs are amazing, highly recommended. It keeps your coffee warm for hours and it even has a charging pad if you need it to stay warm longer than that. In my last video, I showed you the unboxing and how Vanity Fair sent everything. This time I am doing the Ohara Technological Art Lab for nail. So this is semi-cured at home gel nails. Basically this looks like a product where they've already done the gel nails and now you're just putting it on your own fingernail. So it's like the last step of the gel nail polish. So they sent this mini tiny gel lamp and I have to decide on a color. So I went with more neutral shades this time but I wanted the crystals and the bling. So I'm trying to decide which one I think I'm gonna go with the one with the giant crystal on it and more of a white polish. All right guys, so this is what I'm going to be using today, the gel lamp and the Ohara semi-cured nails. So unfortunately this is not in English. It's probably Korean, it says made in Korea. There's pictures and it looks pretty simple so I'm just gonna follow along. It looks like first step one, you find the size that matches your finger. Then you peel it off, the plastic, Stick it onto your fingernail, file off whatever doesn't fit on your nail bed, and then put it in the UV light. Let's see what the nail kit looks like. And it comes in this little black box. So this is the top, and it has all these nail options in here. So here's some options. Then you have your neutrals. Comes with an Ohara prep pad. Little nail file and a cuticle pusher. First starting by pushing down my cuticle. I'm not doing it very hard, I'm doing it very gentle. When I was in cosmetology school, I remember they said it's not good to damage your cuticle too much. You just wanna be very gentle, push it down, and you really just wanna focus on that extended part that goes on the nail. The part that is here is actually um, really important and it creates like a protective barrier. So there's a little lamp and the USB. So it just pops out and then you have your little gel light that you can put your finger in. And there's a little button here for when you're ready to do the UV light. Okay, so back to the nails. So I'm just gonna take one prep pad. It's basically like an alcohol wipe. And I'm just gonna run it over my fingernails. Make sure that the area is really clean. Yeah, in cosmetology school, I actually didn't mind doing nails. I thought it was really creative outlet and really fun. I think the part that got to me is doing other people's toenails. I don't know if I would want to do that. It is like creating art. You can get really creative, you're painting. It only lasts two weeks so you can do it again. And it's not, you know, life or death. It's just like a fun thing to do. So I'm gonna pick out the sizes. It feels like a sticker. So I'm just trying to center it, line it up, and then I'm pushing it down, keeping it above the cuticle. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. And then it says to, I guess, match them all. It's not too sticky, it's kind of more of like a gummy feeling. So you wanna get it down to the cuticle, and then it literally is just like a sticker. Plastic part, you just peel back. I could see this being awesome if you put like acrylics on first, because I'm gonna have to file all that down. <laughs> so I'm gonna lose a lot of it. And then I think I wanna do one more bling on my pinky. Just stick it down, push it on the edges, and then take off that plastic piece. So these two fingers, I'm gonna do the natural beige on it. And I'm just getting close to the cuticle, but still staying like a millimeter away. So 
So I picked out all my sizes, stuck it on my nail like a sticker, and now I'm gonna get this nail file and file it down to match my nail. So I'm just going up on this side, up on this side at like a 45 degree angle. So I did my first one, there's my pinky now. Now I just have four more to go on this end. It goes from that to that. And there's no bumps, no bubbles, paint's perfect. Like as I'm doing it, it feels like I'm gonna mess it up, but it's not. It just keeps forming to the edges. I'm on my last one for my right hand. Started with the harder side. So it takes a little time, but definitely less time consuming than just doing gel nail. Cause all you have to do is stick it on and file it down. So my right side's almost done, just has to be cured. I'm gonna size my left side and file it all down and then cure both at the same time. You can see what it looks like before I cure it. It looks like it's almost done and it feels really secure. It's really easy material to work with, but it's not adhered to the nail yet until I cure it with the UV light. So I just did an alternating pattern. The thumbs I kept the same. These were just for the thumb, but I'm sure you could cut it if you wanted and stick it on another nail. And then for the other ones, I just alternated. It was pretty easy. I think it took, took like 30 minutes and it already looks good. And the directions say to do three to four times on each side. So I'm gonna try three times. I do wanna limit the UV exposure on my hand. That's one of the reasons I stopped doing gel in the salon actually. It's just really not good for you, but it does last a long time and it looks so shiny. So I decided to do my thumb separate because it was just kind of leaning like this in there and I don't think that's gonna cure it. So I'm just bringing this to the edge of the counter and then putting my thumb in. I just cured all my nails. It's hard to tell like if it did anything, but I do think it feels like a little firmer and stiffer and it's less pliable. So before you cure your nails, you definitely wanna make sure that everything is sitting down very flush. On this one, it got a little wavy on the bottom here and I don't think there's anything I can really do about it at this point. So we'll see how it goes over the weekend. I will be in water, see how it goes washing my hair, doing regular stuff. Keep watching to see the update.